took a comeback for the ages for section four to go one and one last night on the gridiron tonight. Could it be, it's going to be even tougher for section four as they take on section three. And most of those teams are undefeated. Let's go to the nightcap main end well facing off with East Syracuse Manoa. And this one was a goodie. First quarter, we have Gallagher looking for Luis Yuseda and Yuseda takes it 41 yards all the way to the barn. Seven, nothing in favor of those Spartans. But coming on back is ESM, but they <clears throat> cough up the ball. The Spartans bring it on back and it's another play just as the same. Luis Yuseda this time getting hammered. Comes up with the ball, 14 nothing. Don't worry, Luis would come back into this ball game. ESF trying to right the ship for them, but once again, the ball hits the floor. One of four turnovers that Maine and Well caused on the night, and Maine and Well sitting pretty after that turnover. Second half now, Emmy putting this one to bed. Justin Jacoby, his touchdown right there, seals the deal for Maine and Well. They take this one 21-7 making up for last year's loss. Last year was tough. We came into this game last year, regional uh, finals, and we didn't come out on, on top. And this year is just great to come out on top with this great group of guys. 52 weeks. It was 52 weeks to, you know, that we knew that you know, after we lost to Whitesboro last year, we were like, uh, you know, we're back in this spot, and we're just going to you know, do our best to not let it happen again. Next up for Maine and well, the number one team in the state, Rochester Aquinas. Well, earlier in the day, the Waverly Faithful all jacked up for their quarterfinal matchup with Herkimer. Picked this one up in the first, already tied at seven. The Magicians, yes, you heard correctly, the Magicians trying to do the work, but Abracadabra, Jeff Mastroruano, he has a pick, trying to get a pick six, but gets knocked out just before the one. He would fumble, but Waverly would recover. That INT sets up this Zach Cooney touchdown just two plays later, 13-7. Waverly Wolverines still in the first. The Wolverines get the ball running and they're running it well. Nick Pusalu gashes the Magicians for 41 yards and six points. Apparently, the Magicians do not have a spell to stop the run against Waverly. Waverly takes a 13 point lead. Herkimer really didn't have an answer for Waverly all day long. Waverly's defense plays well, taking this one 26 13, moving on to the semifinals behind some good defense. Herkimer has a really, really good quarterback, but they basically run the same type of offense we do, so it was definitely easier to, uh, on defense, make the calls because we, we see it all year. Today our defense got some, uh, made some really big plays to set us up. You get to this time of year, and most every coach will tell you that it is about defense this time of year. Well, next up for Waverly is Southwestern of Section 6. A week from the day, they dispatched of Wellsville 23-6. We have a chance to do something that nobody in our school has ever done, ever! Carter Jackson is correct there to do so. They have to get past Westmoreland. The Bulldogs had the run midfield, but Tioga makes them cough up the rock. Tioga's ball, and they are charging. So Tioga, once they get their first possession of the ball game, they give it to the big fella, Zach Williams. He keeps chugging, 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 choo, choo, all the way down the line. The big fella will not go down until he gets to the one yard line. Then they don't give it to the big fella, the big fella the next play later. That goes to Coney Bennett for his first touchdown of the game. 6-0. Westmoreland answers two drives later. Zach Green up top to Teddy Flint. And we're tied at six points apiece. But then the Cody Bennett show takes over. This is second touchdown of the day. He had six in the ball game as Tioga. They know what they do best, and that is score touchdowns. 55-34. They take this one. They're going to take on Letchworth next Friday in the state semifinal. 